somehow Maneski managed to pull that one back and equalize the game. So now we're in the game five. Game number five. And uh, we'll see how well Juggernaut is, uh, is going to be done. I mean, I don't know how well Juggernaut will handle himself in this game. It is a Raging Potato Shadow Fiend. So it might be safe lane Shadow Fiend. It might be mid. We'll have to see. All right, on the side of the Maneski lineup here, it's going to be the Radiant Squad trying to fight for, or rather on the side of the Radiant Squad. Can have Maneski trying to fight for that last place in a Summit Qualifier. It will be them against Fnatic. The boys from Philippines, Cuckoo, Juggernaut. Jesse Vash undying. We have Raging Potato on the Shadow Fiend. We have Jules on the Dazzle. Ryor on the Darks here. On the side of the Dubber, the, the, the Dyer. We have Mushy playing the Witch Doctor, the Catty Doctor. Uh, we have Black, the Anti Mage, DJ, or Chrissy on the Wind Ranger. We have Net on that Tusker. And last but not least, we have Ohio playing Mama Comes. Skittle, 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 Mama Comes. Skittle, 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 Mama Comes. Anyone freaked out just yet? Mama comes, Mama comes. So Ohio, just gonna freak everyone out for a couple of seconds for now. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about Team No Stunts later on. Okay, this is too freaky. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Shiver me timbers. All right, Jules has a lot of inventory items in his bank. Uh, just want to make sure that he doesn't show any of his items, which is pretty cool. I have Darks here now, Triple Clarity Potions, Tango, the Branch, and the Stout Shield. 30 seconds to battle. Yeah. Alright, let's bring up the last hit since you can see the double yellow bars. If you're just tuning in, this is Game 5. We are done with all the formalities. We are down to the wire here. Winner takes all, goes to the summit to play. And I uh, guess a trip out to LA as well. It's not every time people from sea fly over to America for a trip, so it's always going to be an extra begins. bonus. So what will it be? Everything and I think we'll pick up the. Yep. So alright. So it's going to be one for one. It's going to be a raging potato mid on that shadow fiend, and uh, we'll have the game's command. It's an off lane juggernaut or aggro tri lane. Yeah, aggro juggernaut with the dazzle. So it looks like it'll be an aggro juggernaut with a safe lane dark seal, which is pretty cool for them. They are sending anti mage to the bottom lane, so they're expecting this. But uh, they put Ohio up top, so it's gonna be free, pretty okay for this undying. I mean, for the brute mother, should not be in too much trouble. The heal bombs can kill off a spider. So I hope they came with sentries. No, they did not. They expected the. Oh no, they did. They did. Right. Immediately TPing down to the bottom lane is undying. So not gonna have any of that. And Ryo getting caught out level one. Oh no, picking level one on that uh Melodic. He could get caught out here. The creeps now going in and tasing Mushy in. There's gonna be another decay in a bit. And another decay gonna pile him down. He's taking quite a bit of damage. He's luckily there he's lucky there isn't any surge for now. But uh, level one Melodic, not exactly the option you wanna pick there. Black and Mushy both losing quite a bit of health already. Uh, let's try not miss first blood. Oh, I missed first blood. Then, okay. Self will actually get it out there. And I didn't see this uh, net rotating in. So they do get the first blood there on the Shadow Fiend. Maneski getting that kill. And uh, my apologies, guys. I was just too intent on that bottom lane. I thought first blood was going to happen there. But uh, Racing Potato is going to hop right back into lane. And nothing too bad is uh, going to happen there. He does collect a lot of souls in return now. So he's already way ahead of that Queen. Uh, I mean, of that Wind Ranger. So Tasuka suicides himself to Roshan. And uh, gets himself, you know, gets himself some extra farm and full health back. Extra farm, but gets himself full health back. And the Sentry was already zoning up the Broodmother here. Juggernaut. Be sure that the brute does not do any kind of funny shenanigans. Ohio in that clarity potion. Just heal up a mana. Try and spread the sp spread the brute here. These spiders are the creepiest ones. And uh, Fnatic should have a pretty comfy start so far. The Juggernaut is winning in terms of last hits though. If he pisses Jug off in time enough, they could actually go in. Oh no, it's a haste. Jay, looking for Raging Potato, he's hiding there in the tree line, gonna show himself the shackle shot, he's gonna land up perfectly, there we go, Potato, gonna get caught out there, the shot as well, they're gonna get another kill, the race not gonna be enough there, and Raging Potato, he tries to run, but Tuska gives him the hatchet, that's 2-0 now, the Shadow Fiend not getting the good start he needs, and they really need a good start, like we said, against this 
well, with this no sun lineup, it's going to be very difficult uh, for them to deal with. The Brute Mother, of course, is going to get caught out here. Ohio is going to get slowed down. But is he going to go down? It's a question. No, he's not. He's going to heal up now. Heal up pretty nicely as well. Two points in that spent. No points in the healing ward so far. Just stats, I think. Just stats. And uh, Raging Potato. I'm gonna start stack up the jungle. Little does he know, Net is there, ready to roll down into him once again as he clubs away at Mud Golems and chips away at his own health. This could be bad. Not having the observer war there, now goes in with the ball. He's ready for that, the power shot's gonna miss though. Oh no, the Wind Ranger's coming in, he's looking for that shackle shot. Just needs to, just needs to look onto him. Oh no, the shots are ready. The heals will come out, the power shot though, lands a big one. Goes through the dazzle as well. The snowball is ready, good grade. Will keep it a long range. Oh, three health! Three freaking health! Will he get the kill though? Jules in a lot of trouble, the shots don't matter for that. Dazzle will get that pick off. Now DJ gets another kill for himself though. Very good play from him. Meanwhile, Brute Mother getting punished up top. Cuckoo will see an end to him. And uh, very good play here from this Juggernaut being able to zone out this Brute Mother with a multitude of sentries. So this game still looking pretty balanced so far, but how are they going to deal with Black if they get past this farming stage? Oh, Black! 305. He solves up. Lead it full. Let's see here on Jesse Bosch. This melee hero, uh, like Anti Mage, does not enjoy heroes like Undying and already forced to blink away, taking a bit of damage from this uh, Iron Shell. The Witch Doctor, though, is healing a lot of that uh, residual damage. The Wind Ranger. 18 and 3 now on that last hit, but Rage of Potato is still doing pretty well on his CS shot. DJ, 2-0 and 1, they're going in again, rolling in for that Spider. Parity Potion goes out, there's a Mango as well. They eat that Tango up. Munches on the Tango, picks up the Brunch and Ohio. A lot for a target, meanwhile, net of course this side of in a lot more grief with that stack here. You will get that stack, so you can go farm that on later. Radiant the focus fire goes onto the tower, and oh, Radiant's courier getting killed there. What's happening? Okay, right. not sure who killed it. Where is the all right? So he died here. So transfer an item, black jumped up, and uh, oh. Pretty much saw an end to it. So pretty good stuff. Gonna have extra gold going their way once again. Ohio gonna be in safety as yes, the sentry ward does not see him anymore. But there is still an Omni Slash. So dangerous. Spiders keep coming in. Just scouting out for the Brute Mother. And uh, Ohio is feeling pretty safe. Gets himself cut. Just be careful. A pack of dust on the dazzle. Tuska still roaming, level 2 on him, 5 minutes in. Jesse Vash in the neighborhood will walk right into the Tuska, and now they find him. Oh, Dyer's they found him. He's gonna iron attack. shell him up. Is there gonna be a snowball? No, no snowball. There are a lot of heroes here on Fanatic. And uh, Tuska will be spat any kind of aggression. They don't want to risk it. Reggie Potato, meanwhile. Very, very careful. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Spider has run down to the bottom lane, pops soaring. There's some more farm on the board. Summon some, some uh, spiders and uh, regeneration room. It's gonna be picked up by the Shadow Fiend. He is looking for a rotation of top, but I think he's important and he doesn't really want to risk it. Kuhu now has Omni Slash, so the dust has been passed to him as well, so Ohio knows how to avoid him. But of course, the dust will reveal some of the spiders, which would not be ideal if they got hit by an Omni Slash. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. I like how Ragey Potato is playing it safe now. Doesn't want to risk fortified. it. Just dropping raises on singular creeps to just push things out. He does have uh, does have that he does have that option regen as well, so that is always that. Uku, meanwhile. Tuska lying in the way there. I'm not even sure they can kill it. The shots will come out, but is there gonna be enough there to snowball? They're gonna be waiting for it. The spins come out, there's a dust. Net spider just spins him off more than he can chew. He gets spun all the way down. There's gonna be an obvious slash. Fancy meeting you here. And Chop brings it down with a brave easy kill there. I'm not sure why Net was going in. He's level two. And Ohio dodging that dust uh, for now. But uh, still, a very poor kill there. Ryo would have pulled out from this anti mage. It is a uh, one on one so far on to Black. He has gone for a lot of stats. He's trying to stay tanky against the Undying. And uh, DJ is gonna shackle him up. Ah, you're gonna really kill an Undying. How are you gonna kill an Undying though? Taking a lot of damage. The power shot will land. There's gonna be a heal there. The raise, though. DJ gets outplayed. Is there gonna be a long raise? 
Zombies are very hungry for blood. They all look for him. Another race that could do the job, but no, it's not gonna be the case here as Windrunner just runs away from that fight. Very potion on DJ. The power shot will fly. This is on Jesse Bosch. Tater. Jumps forward. Bottle rules it gonna be it's gonna be a double damage, so it's gonna be quite That's a bit of damage. We'll be coming up from this Wind Ranger. And uh, we have Ryo being left to its own devices while Black has picked up that bounty ring. So 46 now on the SCS chart. Uh, we're reaching the 8 minute mark. Juggernaut is still on top of that farm. Of course, he does have the spiders to help pad his stats, but still, all in all, he has done pretty well with the 2 0 SCS on his kill score at least. Okay, the double damage. Just gonna look for that focus fire in the middle tower again. And oh, looks like maybe he goes for Raging Potato instead. Radiant's Will he get that shackle shot? No, he just go for point blank on that tower shot. And you can clean up this power. Uh, with the bottle up now. There are a lot of fanatic heroes in the neighborhood. Raging Potato could be in a lot of danger. Here comes the shackle shot. It will land into the far tree on site. The coconut will come. The power shot as well. One more ranging arrow. Yeah, we'll get the job done. But no, the double damage is not gonna work here. As the grave keeps him alive. The heals come out. And now GJ out of mana, out of stuff. And Cuckoo gets himself of a killing spree. Five and three now is the kill score. And Vanessa takes the upper hand here against the Malaysian squad. Things are looking dangerous here for Mushi. Their dreams of a summit qualify uh, qualification could be in danger. Raging Potato, oh man, surviving there by a hair. Power of the Dazzle, the Shadow Priest being able to keep heroes alive for extra five seconds. Just so good. But of course, there's always no stuns, right? Right? Let's bring up the net worth. Then we have 4006 for that Juggernaut. And uh, looking pretty good there, going for the Battle Fury and Battle Fury to just speed up the farm, doing extra damage and only slashes and stuff like that. Kind of a la Ember Spirit. Jesse Vaj has been having quite the start on the dying, but not getting any items. So only got 600 gold worth of items. He hasn't died a single time. I don't know how poor, how, how come he can be so poor. To be honest, but uh, maybe bought a lot of regen. Up. Gets a spin. Oh, delicious. Mommy, please don't leave us. I to the master. Man. Dinner. Got it. Dinner. dinner. <laughs> oh, they are dinner. That is right. Dr. Lovey Observer Ward on the side there, Ohio. Just really unsure as to where uh, the enemy warding is. And uh, Kuku getting a lot of farm here, just right clicking everything. And heal bombs can come in as well. Again, the sentry wards gonna scout them out. Heal bomb. Pfft, okay, never mind. Raise. And um, well, infant mortality rate for brood mothers are pretty high. Uh, pretty low, rather. And no, Ryo gonna get scouted out here by Wind Ranger. Gonna look for the shackle. Dyer's top tower is under Will it be attack. successful though? This tier one tower from the brood already getting punished. I feel like brood should just Dyer's shift elsewhere. He has done his. Uh, he has. Did just send his brood down to the. Creep wave to cut it off, but he's farming the he's helping the enemy farm, and uh, for now it's doing quite a lot of good. As the, it's cutting off the creep wave, but raging potato has already secured that tier one tower, and the tier one bottom is still not touched, still pristine. About to get scratched here by DJ with that focus fire, but will they come in contest it? They are trying to look out for Ohio here, and I think it could be very dangerous for him to stick around. Spins go out here from Cuckoo. Radiant's tier 1 tower on the bottom does fall. And middle lane, Ryo goes toe to toe against this black anti mage. Do enough damage. Oh, they dust up Ohio. Ohio is dusted up, but it's not going to be enough. They drop it down a sentry ward, and he will be safe. Leading him on a wild goose chase to raise a little far there. Going to secure that kill. Boomstar. Tombstone checks out Ohio. Ohio immediately uses the spiders to chop down the tombstone. That's pretty good as well. The root mother. Very good against tombstone. Yeah, backs black in there. Does a little bit of damage. Vanessa E. Maybe if that drops here caught out, there's gonna be a nice burst there. Grave, grave, grave. You need to keep that grave up. No, nope, not gonna grave. They're holding it for a little bit. Shadow feet picks off Bushy on that side there. And Raging Potato. Oh no. Black trying to get that farm in. He's got two for casual handlers to deal with the iron shells. And Ohio. Wind Ranger killing off Juggernaut in that killing spree. Very well done. The shackle shot into focus fire. 
surprised he actually got that kill there. He's been uh, pretty bulky, but then again, it's a face boost, face boost perseverance juggernaut, so not attack. a lot of damage to speak of. But still, a very big kill that Wind Ranger got 6,500 net worth. Now, all of a sudden, with that swing, just one swing. Black. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Perseverance, 600 gold, 700 gold. Black is farming pretty well. Considering his starting circumstances, and uh, time shell, the mechanism coming online very shortly here. Really needs to work on that timing push. DJ very far into enemy territory has uh, TP has win run, and uh, enemy has no stuns. They will immediately back out of there. Does he have soul ring vacuum? Soul ring vacuum. Oh no! 28 seconds before it comes down. Jackal shot. Pretty good stuff. The illusion runes actually getting that kill. And uh, another denial of the tower. Shadow Feed is getting a lot of kills there. Ooh. Soul, soul, souls. Shadow Feed collecting jars of spider souls. Was she? 0 1 and 0. That kills go. Wind Ranger still at the top of the net worth charts. Uh, being able to uh, stay abreast of the uh, situation here. Still got a. 75 gold before that Aghanim Scepter, very quick Aghanim Scepter as well. Gonna be able to boost her damage output by a lot. Mushi's about to feed. We'll feel it. Ping him out, so maybe he's about to feed. I don't know, he's walking into the enemy jungle, so this sounds like feed to me. There you go. The Priest is ready. The Cask is here, but there is no touch. But the Weave and the Dark Seer ready to punish Mushi. Are we gonna see Mushi getting punished? There's gonna be a Vac back in there. The Iron Shell is not gonna be enough though. No stuns. Maybe Dazzle might want to consider one point in the touch. Not sure. Uh, Black anti mage. Oh, some 500 on him. Gonna be very close to that battle fury now. DJ. What's on in? The base boots himself. Oh, Cuckoo finds DJ. Get the army slash from the anti on die. Getting the kills as well. Again, no stuns. Agonim scepter, a pretty good item. Please get a point in touch, please. Now we're going in. Radiance top tower is under attack. Bushy. Ohio taking time to split push this bottom lane, cuckoo. Forward sword as well. Build, building that battle fury for that. Building that battle fury for that brute mother push, I guess. But uh, Rating Potato picks himself up some uh, Sanj and Yasha, despite that bad start, has managed to climb his way back up. This Raging Potato is just such a good farmer, you know, you never know uh, when to count him out because he just keeps coming back despite those bad starts. He, he gets dealt, you know, his bad hands, just turns it all around with self stacking. Uh, uh, those finding kills when needed. And now the battle fury is done. 15 minutes in for the Juggernaut. And uh, it's gonna start clearing away, gonna start clearing away spider waves, but... Ohio, Midas as well, and uh, gonna be able to start crawling his way back in, you know, he has managed to... Uh, he managed to get shut down by this Juggernaut in the early stages, but Midas will fix that. Spiders as well, constant jungling, is gonna be really good for him. Meanwhile, Anti-Mage is gonna be farming in his own business, it has got 1,500 gold in the deficit for... Actually, you know, it's a fanatic advantage here. Yeah. Wind Ranger coming in there, Raging Potato. Gonna look for that. Is that gonna be a shackle? Doesn't latch through a tree. Could I find that? I'm not gonna find a play there, but I think they were waiting for it. Finesky are baiting this. Really baiting this. Sanji Yasha. It's gonna be. It's gonna be play here. Is that gonna be another shackle? DJ. He should smell a rat right now. So, what? Scouts out black. Shot will fly through. Black. Really gonna TP away, he's gonna have his jungle stolen. They're still baiting in these heroes, they're hiding in the trees there. Power shot, doesn't see Jesse Vash just yet. Awesome lane. Fire has the iron shell, he's gonna try and run in there himself. Dazzle. Everything has been deployed. DJ, losing quite a bit of mana. The shackle shot was there. Yeah, and dying. Tombstone was there as well. TP's come in. Looking for black. Who black says, alright, there's gotta be no TP. Oh, good shackle shot. Once again, disabling that TP. On to DJ. He loses that regeneration rune. But, yeah, you know, gonna do some damage here. Yeah. Raising potato. Gotta pop those stick charges. Still have that tombstone. Gonna 
probably be brought down, has to be careful here. Being too much gold here, zero. Gonna look for that snowball, get there, die. Tags him on the way out, the shackle shot will latch him to a heartbeat, not the best way to go. And Jesse Vosh will lose his life, DJ. Well, Ohio. Get scouted out, and I feel like Maneski are losing control of the situation. They have no stuns, they have no catch. Chess can't bring down the enemy, and uh, Ohio already going to be summoned more spiders. And uh, having to keep the Zoxia here on his feet at all times. And right now, Maneski, the only few things that can TPs uh, would be, I think, wait, anti no, no, there's no longer mini stuns. Yeah, not many really stuns anymore. Shackle, no, nope, he really destroys that. The healing ward, but still doing a fantastic amount of damage there. DJ diving pretty hard there, gets the Omni Slash in there, he will get himself fed off. There is going to be a uh, Mango being deployed as well. Black got quite a few hits here with that Sanj. Now I'm not sure what was that dive all about there. Obviously, you should know that a Juggernaut has Omni Slash at the ready. I know he, did, he thought he did a lot of damage, but this opens up Avenue for Maneski to make a play here. 7 and 5 is the kill score, and with the Dazzle constantly, his heal blasting his way through and through. The tower is dropping really low, and his shots are uh, not going to be doing enough. And Jesse Vash is going to come in, pound away the tower. The Vlast is done, they waste the Coconut though. Coconut down, they are going to be pushing this tier 1. And Ryo looking to burn away his creep wave. Has fallen. That's what the anti mage they smoke up. What, what are they gonna smoke? What are they gonna smoke? <laughs> they go into Roshan, alright. So they pop the dust, look for any pesky spiders, they go into Roshan. I'm not sure if the enemy knows about this, I'm pretty sure they do. And uh, anti mage, nope, they're just gonna farm the ancient there. Top tower is under attack. Yeah, okay, Jig is up. In Ohio fires another blast there. I hear a shackle shot will land onto Ryo. Ryo losing a lot of health. He will have his mech the Will he have his mech? He will have his mech. He will search away in time. But he gets CP away. No, he will get a good juke cross. Will he get it out in time? Nope, there's the spiders. He turns into babies. And uh, not the best way to go there. Pretty gross. Ohio will get another kill. So, and uh, looks like someone's stealing Roshan. Looks like Black is going to be stealing the ages. The enemy. The shackle shot will come in. I'm not sure if there's going to be a contest. Are they going to be contesting this? They need this contest because that agent is going to be marking a big problem for them. The double down get picked up by Bushy in the casket. Ready as well. The end. Oh no, but the end. I dropped the tombstone. Immediate disengage here from Fnatic. They don't want to fight this. And a smart plan as well. Black just go back to farming. And says, all right, now they have agents. I'm going to be so so happy because I'm going to be able to farm all day, all night. And uh, that is. To an extent, through because uh, this anti mage agent is going to keep you really secure from pickups, and with no stuns, I don't think they can do it more than once. Black out, we're going to try and TP away. But no, nope, Jules trying to TP away from Black, not going to happen. Gets itself out of a little bit unnecessary, but Black has a little bit of anger issue here with this Dazzle. Can't blame him. Dazzle does infuriate a lot of the best players. Raging Potato, going to find Black there. First hit Bash, oh, search, first hit Sanj on him. Cuckoo, that's the Yasha ready. Ohio, despite losing so much health from the from the iron shells, able to do vampiric uh, vampiric drain on them and uh, keep his health total pretty full. Black just constantly blinking in and out. It's really not that big a deal. Yeah, network once again is still favoring Maneski because they have taken more towers. They did try to get Roshan. They got punished for it. But uh, they are still farming higher than Black on that AM. Battle Fury, Yasha, lads. Just Yvash drops the Sentry Ward, immediately sees Ohio on that Brute Mother. Each other out, Sentry Wards are detected as well, so they will lose their lives to the Spider. Which another Sentry. Ohio this time getting caught out as well. But he runs down to the low ground, so should not have any trouble whatsoever. Ryo and that rank full vacuum as well as that. Oh I hear a vacuum. Oh no, but Ohio getting punished and a rage will come. And Raging Potato is on a dominating spray. And uh not, meanwhile. TP top there, look for DJ on that rat, he immediately goes in for the spin, doesn't want to risk any kind of shackle shot shenanigans, get himself, oh no, getting focused, fired on and even getting shackled to the wall, Cuckoo punished! This win ranger, magical spaghetti, 
and I'll see you to his end once again. Radiant's middle tower has and look at that, Black just blinks away. What are they gonna do? They weave him, then they do nothing. I'll be surprised if Black even has one death this game. Shivash is so poor on his network and net. I look for another target very shortly. Cast comes in. Maximum Heroes is 23 minutes in. Maneski may have had a pretty strong start, but this is Fnatic about to you know, show them the importance of stuns in the game. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. We got that cloak trying to build into his favorite glimmer cape. But I feel like he needs more mana, perhaps soul ring or even an arcane. <gasps> Would be ideal. Maybe when you're rushing, you're rushing and uh, no time to blow up the tank of mana anyway. And uh, well, why? I have the blink tank, so a little bit of a blink initiation coming out. Juggernaut, that rank two, jug uh, rank two Omni Flash, ready to pick some targets off. And Wind Ranger seems like a very possible target. Are they going to go in for it though? What's the question? The vacuum comes in. Is it going to be enough? The Omni Flash will follow her through, and then is your weave getting extra clips? Don't oh, forget that kill there, Mushi. Going to be chasing down that forward as well. Is there another spin? There is a slow coming out. Mushi going to get caught out. The spins though. We we'll have to slow him down a fair bit. But they will surge him up, he'll run through, and he'll actually get those kills onto Mushi. Mushi getting caught out, the snowball won't roll over. Is this a counter play though? Here's the question. Uh, it looks like, oh no, the SF going for base. Very well done. Radiant's career was killed there. And this is really infuriating here for the Juggernaut. He gets shouted in once again. The snowball is ready in 8 seconds. Oh, there'll be a tier 2 tower. There's a shackle shot though. The Dazzle is ready to heal him up. They immediately buy back on the dark here. They want to go for this play because the Wind Ranger bought back. They could be getting a kill as well. A spin there will disable it. And out of his deep once again, the Raccoon of Souls completely blown there. But the touch of the priest will come in right now. And another punch here from the Undying will secure them. But no Raging Potato with the Lob Praise snipes him out. Attack. Meanwhile, in Black Town, there is your Darks here pushing things back. Tuska buys back. A lot of buybacks happening so early in this game. DJ has that TP. Oh no, he shackles up Jules. Jules getting caught out. No savior for him because he is the savior. So when the save he is, uh, he's just gonna watch it. From the side, there are four minutes left on to before that next ages. And the uh, Shadow Blade guy will run away. Meanwhile, Anti Mage. Every coin helps. Third of his health pool. Thing for him is net. Juggernaut split pushing a little bit with his Juggernaut illusions. Get destroyed by the spiders, though. Ranger. The star completed here for the anti mage, and I'm, I'm like, I like I said, it's gonna be tough. How are they gonna lock him down? Abyssal blade for cuckoos, what I can imagine. He has a man style and a battle fury now, so maybe go into that abyssal blade. Even then, tough. Shadow Blade looks for Black. Will he be able to kill him though? I think unless he gets a perfect Requiem off, Requiem off, it's gonna be nearly impossible. Yeah, he just tags Black on the side there, immediately raises off the wave. Didn't have the Requiem as well. So, just gonna be doing some extra damage here to this anti mage. And I feel like uh, maybe a Silver Edge could be a possibility as well because you wanna remove that mana break. And you don't really have a lot of magic, so. Or rather, that yeah, will be safe. Jules get burnt here by the Yankee Mage Illusions. And Google Minos are going in there forward, trying to get the last hits in, trying to do the damage, but this Wind Ranger has been very persistent, trying to shackle him to trees, succeeding a couple of times, and uh, killing him. Fire. Gonna be a huge stack to take off. Is this uh, going to be one of the boys here? What are they going in? Yeah, they're going to look for Ohio. It's the Ohio hunt. Fighters are dead. Black 
I'm going back for the ancients. Dazzle Juggernaut. Dazzle does like to jump in very aggressively, so if he loses some team fights, he could actually technically lose the game. Nato Rage coming out here doing damage. And what's that? Courier. To the courier, it's a Mantis out and a Basher as well. Ranger with a Demon Edge. So this game is getting out of hand for Maneski, even though they do not see it. Very difficult uh, to control an anti mage that farm. 7,005 now in the gold craft. There you go. Thinking whether he should actually do this. When? Good. Comes in there, suddenly gets the silver edge there, and a big kill there with the vacuum as well. Oh, no, not silver edge, but there's the shadow blade. Getting the big kill on that mother with the sentry ward nearby. Oh, uh, but meanwhile, Black, he secures the kill here. And Kuku gets himself back when the Omni Slash will come out, and Black immediately jumps it out because he has Blink. And now uh, that Omni Slash could be completely wasted in that lane. And Raging Potato, he's going in there looking for a kill. The Undying Zombie. Just doing some work here. And uh, we have Raging Potato immediately taking out that range creep as well. He's got a German True Sight, so he's ready to deal with all those invisible shenanigans. How much is it going to be? He's got a TP top. He's going to look for DJ, who has a Blink, who has the. Uh, Windrunner. It's going to be very difficult. Merely poured out. Don't want to take any risks. Juggernaut. Jay's about to farm up some really big stuff. It's probably going to be a crit. Whereas uh, Maneski got himself a. Uh, Potato got himself an MKB. Roshan is up. They want to fight for this. I feel like this could be the deciding factor in this uh, in this entire series. The BO5 that is ready, uh, be, well, ready to be decided here today. Are they going for the Roshan? Are they going to be in time? Will there be a smoke? There will not be. Ryo, he knows he's been zoned out. The Shadow Plate has been deployed. They're still going to Roshan. Is that half health? They get to the Roshan. If they do, be big. Could be fighting. Get that combo going in there, but oh, Roshan's dropping so low, there's so many things. There, now Raven, uh, Raven Potato gets himself caught out there by Bushy, then his machine gun, and the Omni Slack is not going to be enough there. Jesse Bash getting caught out though, a lot of illusions, just causing trouble for Black. He's going to be casting away, that Shackle Shot is not going to do enough damage there, and now Black gets himself caught out, the Power Shot will come, the Healing Ward is going to be there, the Rapture will soak, then he charges up to the kill Black, take no big, a huge blast on Black, but it's not going to be enough there. Here comes the Shadow Beat, one more long range, they should do the job, but the Shackle Shot shot the vacuum though, gets him hit, Mushi dropping really low, one more strike here from Raging Potato, cleans him up, and now DJ running away from the zombie, will they be able to get that kill, anti mage dropping really low, they still are unable to kill him, the double damage here from DJ could be a big play, so far I must say Jules has been on point with these graves, keeping his teammates alive, the key teammates alive, and uh, it's just been so huge. Asher's coming in, so we might start seeing some disables. Uh, Cuckoo. That's at the bash, so all he needs is a good bash onto anti mage. Might actually see some miracles happening. Oh, but meanwhile, meanwhile, Ru walks through the trees. Go survive. The pistol blade here for the anti mage. So he can look to take the fight to the enemy, like he did in the previous fight, but he did might avoid the wrong, wrong, wrong person, so. Careful here. Dagger for the Juggernaut. Black. It's under the gold. 3 0 and 1 there. Did die once. Ah, I know, it's this. Okay. It didn't die. That's what I remembered. Yeah. Sanity Mage cannot die in this game. Bushy, deliver a cape at the ready. They're gonna break the smoke there. Ryo immediately with the disjoint, but the shackle will fly. It will not latch on him. Really bring him out there. That's gonna be a punch there. Onto Kuku immediately goes in there. For that Omni Slash, he will get some huge hits here. There's gonna be a big kill. Raging Potato gets the monster kill. And there we go. The Rack also gets wound up. Oh, Ohio getting slowed down there by the Rack of Souls. They go spin in there. Ohio loses his life there. Anti Mage, where is Anti Mage? 
He's running away. He's the only survivor here. He popped that abyssal blade. He only got a dazzle kill. But Maneski is raging potato. He cares no dams about what you are throwing at him. He's just going to be standing and delivering. And so far, he's been doing just that. Jesse Bosch, the vacuum tombstone. I told you guys it's going to be a huge combo because I played ability draw before and I got those two spells together. But it is still a big combo. Maneski about to punch Fanatic's way out of this tournament and into their own trip to LA to play in the Summit Finals. The first side of Rex will be collected here, but Maneski seems this win ranger doesn't have buyback for another 35 seconds. Neither does the brood. The brood actually does have it, so he's not going to have it on black. He's ready to fight this, but are they ready to are they ready to deal with the Shadow Fiend? The Shadow Fiend is stacked. I'm not sure this anti mage can deal with him. The cast will come in. Goku gonna get cast it up. They're gonna go for the missile plane. They're trying to go for the kill there for the back you. Well, if you get the kill there, good catch up here by Black. He gets back once. Is he gonna die here? But no, not enough damage. Bushi gets slowed up by a whole lot of zombies. They're going for the positional play. They got the healing ward. They have this tombstone in the back line. The cast will come. The dual ball comes in. Sprint Ranger up in five. Do they get it? Two, three. Hit one more. Kicks him out. It's a godlike streak. The healing ward still alive. Ohio down. Black is trouble. Black is trouble. Back. Back. Black's about to die. Black drops below. He's gonna be ready. Capital of Google follows him with the Blink Dagger. Takes him out. Empty base comes back into the fight. Got Shackle shot. This could be the turnaround here. Raging Potato. Then it caught out. But where's my Dazzle? Dazzle's gonna bring that back up. The mana point is there. But he has full mana. There you go. Walking through the wall will be detrimental for them. Ryo has that surge ready. They will have to pick him off. They will lose Rax. They force the buyback out on Black. This is really big. Fnatic are just one step away from being eliminated from this tournament. The gold has gone. Look at this gold graph. 10,000 to nothing in mere seconds just from those big team fights from Raging Potato. This guy has been huge for this team. Huge. Jesse Vash, his tombstone, has been playing some big parts as well because it is not easy to deal with it while the game's at hand. Ohio has really just been dying a lot on this Brute Mother without contributing that much on board as well. Darkseer buys back into the fray. Not sure he really needed a buyback, but he has got so much money, he could actually go into a hex as well. Stalling out the game is favorable for them. Not so much, but uh, Ryo really wants to get things down here and uh, try and scare them away. I don't really think he needed to buy back there, to be honest, but uh, Juggernaut, now with that 3,000 extra gold, is going to be able to buy himself on the pistol blade of his own. And no stun gaming is actually doing work here. This Monkey King Bar bashes on Juggernaut. The just ability to blow up black on his anti mage is huge. Ohio just melts. There is no, there is no question there. But there are so many other things that could do so much damage here. And this, this shadow fiend has just been delivering. Uh, Jules. Him a cape. And uh, Ryo, Guardian Grease, gets Gold Scepter, Blink the Dagger, all ready for him. Uh, this is going to help him a lot with the Focus Fire, of course. But I uh, would really like to see him get a Hex. But now that the Abyssal Blade is on, it's going to be so dangerous for this Anti Mage. He cannot reveal himself and not get some big plays in. Of course, they're just still one smack away from ending this game if they're not careful because of a huge amount of damage they have with the Wind Ranger. But still, yeah, it's so much trouble. The buyback spent there. Black the anti mage. The next death could be game over. Will be game over. Haste. Heaven's Hail, but okay, I can get behind this. Uh, Heaven's Hail, but Silver Edge here. For the oh, for the Shadow Fiend, he's gonna try and disable the armor here for uh, the AM, and then you know the rays or two could really destroy him. He only has an 1800 health. It is a very possible thing. And if he blinks at the wrong spot, if he blinks at the wrong spot, I swear to God, Fnatic are out of this tournament. He is now running in there. He's going very close. The Silver Edge is there. He spots him out. It spots him out. Patience, patience from patience from Potato. Patience, patience, Ryo is there, they're gonna find him, they're gonna find him, will they find him, they back him up, they smack him in video, Abyssal Blade, he loses his life, he's down, no buyback, 112 seconds, Anti-Mage brought down the patience from Potato, pays off, and now Fnatic, they are on the ropes, they have lost their only hard carry, there's Wind Ranger to try and bail him out of this, they have to make the space, they have to make the space, but Cuckoo clears up the spider army, and he's going down mid, he says, alright, let's throw this boys, let's throw this, and will it be Maneski's day? 
Today is the day. It's a game five. It went to game five. It started off as a two-one. Look pretty bleak, and then they pull it back with an outstanding TA play from Raging Potato, and then another outstanding play now here Radiant from that Shadow Fiend. Twenty-one to fifteen. Rain instructors are fortified, but really, is Fnatic gonna be able to commit to this? They can maybe get one side of Rex, but they are losing their Rex here. We go straight for base, I think. Yes, Manetsky says yes, straight for base. Black is down for sixty seconds. We take this fight to them. And I don't think the Fnatic will be able to deal with this. They're gonna port in. Ryo is ready. Uh, the donkey is here to join the fight as well. He's celebrating for Manetsky fans all around the world. Cuckoo, gonna get the heal, Manetsky. They are gonna be fighting it as a big back and forth. Gonna try them all in. That's the Omni Sniper will follow. DJ dropping low. That's he beyond all like Mushi. It's down. There is nothing left. No stun gaming is about to do it. DJ, are they gonna be able to hold the line here? He's dropping solo. 9 HP left. They're going straight for the throne. There is nothing they can do about this. Ohio still trying to get the punches in. Tuska punches the SF into the sky. Potato dropping low. No break. No break. They lose their SF. But then the Ohio loses his life. 20 seconds to AF. Jules. Jules dropping low. They lose his life, but now he jumps into the missile blade. Gets that missile blade on him and chops it down. It's the five and here for the Wind Ranger. Is it enough? Fasa Lang. And there we go. Vanessa are out. Vanessa are in. And there we go. We have our C qualifier here after a BO5. Vanessa, the P noise. Take it. Take it in a BO5, knocking Mushi and crew out of the tournament. And the summit will be filled by a Filipino squad. And that. Is one hell of a game, my friends. No stun gaming. That was one hell of a performance from Raging Potato. Not only does this man have a standing name, dash dot dash in the middle, he still has Pinas to show himself, uh, show himself off. And well, that was that. That was a crazy game. I I almost thought they lost it again. That is the thing, Maneski. They are the emotional roller coaster that every dire fan needs. And uh, well, that was that. I, I feel really sorry for Mushi and the guys because they work so hard. They are, you know, well considered top in C. But when they get taken out by Maneski, you see Maneski earn every single bit of that game. And well, this is a. Uh, True example of uh, hard work and dedication paying off, and this team has become quite the well oiled machine. And I hope to see them progress a lot further in the Summit 4 as they play up against some of the best teams in the world. So, with that, I bid Fnatic RIP, and I have to say congratulations to Maneski, Buzian, and uh, 38 36, man, 38 minutes, 36 seconds. I pronounce Fnatic did. Damn. Esky, what play? And this is why they have fans. Alright guys, with that, I wrap things up on the Summit C, Summit 4C qualifiers. Uh, Fnatic are going out after staying in the winner's bracket for such a long time. Maneski will take it. And uh, that is going to be that. The P noise. Stop now. Gotta go lie down and smile to myself at the amount of good Dota that happened this night. <laughs> good night, guys. I hope you had a great time. I'm Lysander Sonora. If you like my casting, you can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitch. And hopefully, you'll come in the future. But before that, looking forward to the major look to the summit four. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Much love and Kappa.